Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1174. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1174 to 1176, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have two lookup values, a common situation that doesn't really have a straightforward solution in Excel. Hey, we need to find Oakland in this column and downtown in this column, find a match, and return GG to this cell. Now in this video, I want to look at four different ways to do it when we're looking up text. And then there's a simple way to do it if we're looking up numbers. Now the easiest way is to add a new column here. Because here, this is something that someone sent in to me. The lookup value, VLOOKUP has no problem joining two individual items. But if you try to do an array calculation where we're joining these first two columns here into a single column, this argument will not handle that array calculation. Now, most functions do handle array calculations, but VLOOKUP table array, it's one of those arguments that just won't do it. All right, so let's see the easy way first. You create a join column equals city, that's a single item, and join it to the store name. Two items being joined together, Control Enter double click and send it down. We have a single column. And now we can come over here and say equals VLOOKUP. Join these two items with the ampersand Shift 7. If I highlight that and hit F9, I can see the join symbol creates a single item. And VLOOKUP will have no problem finding it over here as a match. Control Z, comma, our table. Broop the entire table. That's the first column. That'll work just fine. Comma, and the column index, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I put a 4, comma, 0, because they're not sorted. Close parentheses, and GG. Now, if I change this over here to west, let's try it um, Seattle. And instantly, we get an error as soon as we change this to 3 or one of the stores from Seattle it works. We could amend this by saying if error. Now in 2007 and later, we can use if error. And it'll catch any error. If you want to just catch the NA, you can use if NA. This is only in 2013 and later, comma. And the arguments for both if NA and if error have just one argument. And you say, what do you want to put in the cell if it's an error? You can put double quote, double quote. That's a zero length text string that will show nothing. Or you could put something like a message in here, like no match. If I change this back to Oakland, instantly I get no, no match. If I change this to downtown, I get a match. We could also leave it empty, right? If we leave it empty like this, that means the zero length text string, it'll show nothing. I kind of like the no match there. Mm -hmm. Now, what if we couldn't add this column? Well, we can use the match function. The match function, not math, match is a lookup function. And just like we did for VLOOKUP, we join these two items, comma. But watch this. This argument right here, lookup rate, has no problem joining columns. Now this is a function argument array operation. Inside this function argument, we're doing an operation not on single items like we did here, but an array of items. That's, in essence, the definition of an array calculation. Now let's highlight this in F9 and prove it does the same thing as this column right here. If you know array syntax, curly brackets house the array, semicolons mean go down a row, just like we're going down a row here. Control Z. I come to the end, comma, and 0 for exact match. Now what does match do? Match actually is different than VLOOKUP. All it will do will look up the two items and tell the relative position, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now if I hit Enter, it gives me a value error, because this is a special type of formula called an array formula. Actually, it's a special type of array formula because this function can't handle array operations without this special keystroke. So if I do Control, Shift, and Enter, now I get the correct answer. That's the relative position. But I did Control, Shift, Enter to tell Excel that this is an array formula. 
up in the curly brackets. Excel tells me this is an array formula by putting those curly brackets in. Now, if you try to type those in, it will not work. If I hit Enter, the value error here tells me that I didn't use Control Shift Enter, and I don't see those curly brackets. So Control Shift and Enter. I see the curly brackets. It's working fine. Now, that's not what I want at all. I have to put it inside another lookup function, index. The array wants the actual values you want to return. Comma. There's the row number, 1, 2, 3, 4, or relative position. I come to the end. I close parentheses. If I hit Enter, I get value error because this formula needs Control, Shift, and Enter. GG, it's working fine. Now, if you don't like Control, Shift, Enter, we could take advantage of the fact that there are some functions that can handle array operations. I'm going to paste this here. And it's actually that calculation right there that's giving us the trouble. And watch this. We're going to put that array calculation into another function. The array argument in index is one of the few functions Look up some product and aggregate are the other functions. It's one of the only uh, four functions that can handle array operations without Control Shift Enter. Now, this is kind of tricky because watch this. I'm going to come to the end of that array calculation, and I'm going to watch this screen tip really carefully. I'm going to type a comma. And normally, I put the row number like we just did a second. But if you leave it empty or put a 0, it'll return all the rows. So if I close this off, that means inside the second index, there is the array that's doing an array calculation. That's empty. So now index will return the entire column. And if we actually highlight this and hit F9, you can see it's doing the same thing as the array calculation itself that we saw just a second ago. Unlike that, though, this can be entered without Control Shift Enter. Control Z, Enter. So all we really did was just slap that array calculation there inside of index and leave the row number empty. Now, if you really wanted to use VLOOKUP, we could get fancy. But I think that without a doubt, if I was going to do a single cell formula, I would just use that one and use Control Shift Enter. If I could add an extra helper column, I'd definitely use VLOOKUP. By the way, this IF NA or IF ERROR, we could wrap those in around all of these also. But if you wanted to use VLOOKUP for some reason, we are totally allowed to join these two values. Again, those are single items that have no problem. That argument can handle it. But this table array, we can use the choose function. And the choose function needs an index number. And what we're going to do is I'm going to skip over the index number, and I'm going to put two values that we're going to, in essence, mash together into a table. Remember, we did broop, highlighted that and this one. Right now, in the value argument of choose, if I hit F9, there's that single column. That's one column. Now I'm going to put a comma. The second column, broop, right here. Now how am I going to mash those together into a single table? Because that's what I need for VLOOKUP. Well, that's where the index number comes in. Notice I have value 1, value 2. That means two things, and I want to retrieve them simultaneously. So I'm going to do another array calculation here. But it's going to be slightly different. I'm using array syntax. I'm going to say, please, index number give me the first and second arguments listed. That means value 1 and value 2 inside of two. choose. And if I put it in curly brackets, it will simultaneously grab both of them. And watch this. If you hit F9, it creates a table that VLOOKUP can understand. Curly brackets house the array. Commas mean go over a column. Semicolons mean go down a row. So look, Seattle 1, Timmy, Seattle 1, Timmy, that is a table inside our formula. And then the semicolon means go down a row. Seattle 2, comma, fill. Seattle 2, go over a column, fill. You've got to be kidding me. Now, I wouldn't normally do this. I would just use, like I said, one of these. But there it is. Now, that's the table array for VLOOKUP. I come to the end. What do I want? That whole table right there only has two columns, the join and the add manager. So I want to retrieve column index number 2. 
comma, 0 because this is an exact match, close parentheses. Now, this will need Control, Shift, and Enter. If I hit Enter, it gives me an NA. If I use Control, Shift, Enter, it will get the right value. Now, when I change this to Seattle, I didn't add the uh, if NA or if error to any of these, so I get an error temporarily. Seattle 3, and instantly they are all working. Oakland, I need not the downtown, but the west. And there's Gigi. Now, there's actually still, 1, 2, 3, 4, a fifth method. And actually, this fifth method will be the best method if you have a proper data set with field names at the top and you have your criteria listed with the exact same field names. Guess what? There's a D get function. The D is for database. The get is go get something. The database, you have to have field names at the top and records in rows, comma, the field 1, 2, 3. That's the third field we want to retrieve something to. So I'm going to put a 3. Or you could type out Ad Manager in double quotes. Or you could click on a cell with Ad Manager, comma, and the criteria. We simply have to have the field names and the criteria below. It'll find Oakland in the city column, West in the store column, and then retrieve whatever's in column three. So get is definitely the best amongst all of these if you have your criteria set up this way and a proper data set. Now, those are five methods if we have text values to retrieve. If we have number values to retrieve and there's no duplicates, meaning Seattle 1, Seattle 1, we can simply do some ifs. Now, this is kind of weird because some ifs is meant to add up lots of items with multiple criteria. So we're going to use it just to look up a single item. So it really won't, won't add, or it will add, but there'll only be one item. Some range, those are the things we're trying to retrieve. Comma. Criteria range, that's the city. Comma. Criteria, that's the particular criteria. Criteria range two, the store name. Comma. Criteria two, downtown. Close parentheses. This will not work if there's duplicates because it will be adding, not retrieving. But because we have no duplicates together in the first two columns, I can go to any one of these. This is Tacoma, Lindy Street, and there it is. So in this video, we did two lookup values. If we have numbers to retrieve and there's no duplicates, some ifs. We saw the great D get if we have proper data sets and proper criteria area. We saw the ridiculous but interesting VLOOKUP and choose. No control shift enter. We saw how to take advantage of the array argument and index. The one I like for single cell, just index match. And be sure to do control shift enter because we're doing an array operation. Or if simply you want to add a join column, then you can use VLOOKUP. And don't forget, there's if NA or if error to avoid errors. All right, we'll see you next trick.